Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Very happy to have you here with me today. Now, I am just going to come out and ask this probably stupid but very dangerous question. Acoustic or electric? You can only have one. What would it be and why? Let me know in the comments. Now, you can probably guess my answer, all right? I definitely prefer the acoustic guitar. I do love my electric guitar. You'll have seen it in a few videos. I've got my Mexican Strat over there. Beautiful. I love players like John Frusciante, Jimi Hendrix. You know, they are two different instruments and I guess it just comes down to, you know, what your style is and what you feel more comfortable playing. Now, I do have a few pedals. I've got a, a Tube Screamer and I do have a Turbo uh, DS2 because, uh, again, I love players like John Frusciante and this, this is his pedal. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, well, I actually call this the Wife Summoner because <laughs> every time I turn it on, she shoots in here like speed of light to tell me it's time for bed. So, uh, <laughs> it is a noisy one. Uh, but yeah, let me know what your preference is, what you like to play. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I am going to tell you exactly why I love the acoustic guitar by showing you a very simple but beautiful progression. And again, that's what it comes down to. You can just take a few simple chords and the way it rings out in the acoustic guitar, it just makes me feel all fuzzy inside. <laughs> this is getting weird, right? But this uh, this is what we're going to go over today, right? So just some simple chords, a nice simple chord progression that moves up and down the neck, but it sounds super sweet. And this is kind of similar to a lesson I did before with these chord shapes, but the chord progression sounds pretty cool. Um, and again, this is something like my last lesson that you can play in a guitar store, right? You can move these chords up and down, they'll really show you the range of the acoustic guitar, and it's pretty easy. And again, it sounds sweet. So let's get on to it. Now, before we do, I do want to just express my gratitude for all you guys who watch my channel. You know, you have, believe it or not, changed my life uh, since my channel took off. I am now able to do this full time. I'm working with folk from all around the world, teaching them privately through my program. And if you would want to be one of them, I do have some space so you can apply for that below because... Me as a teacher, I love to get hands on with people and I love to help them transform their guitar playing. All right, so uh, so thank you for helping me make that possible. Uh, I've also got a big community um, that you can join for free uh, below for seven days as well. And you can access all my courses and all my lessons and stuff for free for a week if you fancy that. So <clears throat> links and comments or description. And now on to the lessons. So we've got two chord shapes we're going to use today. Get the E chord, and then we've got this chord here, right? So we're going to move our two fingers up to the fourth fret and put our index finger on G on two, right? Okay. <clears throat> now, basically, the way you think about these chords theoretically is the way I think about them anyway, right? Is that they are just uh, triad shapes, okay? In the key of E. Now, this would be an F sharp minor if I had to bar it. But when we're playing in the key of E, what we can do is we can just take the E strings and the B string and let them ring out while we play the triad versions of these chords in the key of E, if that makes sense. All right, so E, this would be an F sharp minor, really. So think about this as the major shape and the minor shape. Okay, and again, we're letting all those open strings ring out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start strumming these two chord shapes, okay? We're going to do that four times. We're going to go one... any strumming pattern that you feel comfortable with. I'm just messing around. Slower. Okay, but you know, get into the habit of just trying to hear the strum and feel into it. And again, um, just as long as it's a good rhythm, it'll sound good. Okay, now this is actually quite similar. Anytime I do these kind of chords, it, it rings out kind of like Melissa from the Allman Brothers. Um, so this is a, a very a popular kind of method of playing the acoustic guitar. All right, so we do that four times. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up with the E shape to six and seven. And then 
move back into the second shape, which is going to be the minor shape for four and six. Okay, we're going to do that. One, two, back to six and seven. And then we're going to move it up to eight and nine. All right, so let's just recap on that very quickly. So all I'm doing there is I'm sliding up to the 8 and 9 part, right? The E shape, and then I'm just climbing down that E major scale, all right? From all the chords. Oh, no, not like that. All right. Oh. I got a message. <laughs> hey, turn my phone off. You're interrupting my lesson. Thank you very much. Tax man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got uh, eight, nine, and then six and seven, four and six, two and four. All right. And I'm kind of like. Uh, 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 uh. Da -da 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 all right. So I just repeat it. Um, I don't know how many times? One. Two, three, and then I slide up to frets, back again, and then I finish up here, which is the octave. All right, thirteen and fourteen of the E chord. All right, and that's it. Okay, so again, you can do your own thing with these shapes. All right, I love to mess around with them. And um, that's what to do, just mess around with these chords. And the reason I love it is because it's really simple. It's pretty easy once you get your hand around those shapes. And again, you know, it's um, you walk into a guitar store and it, it, it gives you something comfortable to play because you only need two chord shapes, but you're able to make those acoustic guitars sing, right? So enjoy that, guys. Again, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.